This is awesome. We're at one of the only places in California where you can drive on the sand next to the beach. We're in a UTV driving on some dune buggies. Here we go! <laughs> So we just got to Santa Maria. Isn't it fun to just say that way? <laughs> and our first stop is at Naughty Oak Brewing Company, which is the local brewery, and we are about to try all of the beers. I mean all of them. There are 12 beers on tap, and so we're doing a flight today, and we're gonna taste our way through Santa Maria. So we're doing flights, and we're gonna try each and every one of them. This is my first flight, so hopefully uh, I can still speak at the end. Starts at 4.3% and ends at a whopping 12%. These beers are not messing around. Uh-oh. <laughs> We've been to a lot of breweries and often the breweries don't measure up. But I will say this one, so far they've all been excellent. Got a good sour, got four IPAs. We've only tried two of them so far and I've liked both of them. So thumbs up to Naughty Oak Brewing. I've officially found the best named beer ever. Meet Anthony Hopkins. <laughs> We're on the beach. I've always wanted to drive on the beach in California and they just don't allow it. But you can see right back there, there's the ocean and we're on the beach. So this is absolutely stunning. One of the coolest things we've done in a while. These dunes are no joke. They go up to about 200 feet. They're made from the wind. Huge, they're massive dunes. They're so big. You gotta be a real daredevil to drive on these, which is why this guy is driving today. <laughs> so if you've never driven on sand dunes, it's a crazy thing to do. You have to be really careful because these sand dunes can just drop off. So we're next to the beach, speed limit's 15, but if we go inland just a little bit, you can do whatever you want. There are no limits here. All right, so I can't emphasize enough how big and crazy these dunes are. We just pulled up to the top of the hill and you couldn't see this to the last second. I don't know if you can really tell. That's like 30, 50 feet, can't really tell. Just straight down, dunes back there, edges right there, and you can't see it until you are right on the edge. This place is absolutely beautiful, but at the same time, very dangerous. So safety first, kids. It's barbecue time. So Santa Maria is known as the barbecue capital of California, and we're about to go check out some of this fancy, historic, well-known, beautiful barbecue. Some say it's the best barbecue in the world. We're about to find out, and so are you. Santa Maria is known for their barbecue, but it's not the barbecue that you typically think of. It's not your southern barbecue. Because there's so many oak trees on the central California coast, they use oak trees to cook their meat, and a lot of the meat is like yummy steaks, pork. It's a whole gamut of things, but it is absolutely delicious, and it's only found right here in Santa Maria. These ribs are not your normal ribs. They're not lathered in barbecue sauce, and they're not slow cooked. Instead, they're quickly cooked and they're dry rubbed. And they are so delicious, so tender. Highly recommend. Came, Ooh. we saw, we barbecued. We are stuffed. <laughs> Just tackled Shaw's. That was too much. But it was good, it was delicious, <laughs> loved it. Now it's time for the good stuff of Santa Maria. What's tomorrow? Wineries. <laughs> moment we've all been waiting for. Wine time. That's right, we finally made it to Santa Maria Valley, wine country. This is the day that I've been looking forward to the most. And oh. we are at Riverbench Winery and it's a 
perfect day, 75 degrees, sunny, and I'm ready for some vino. And if you didn't know, Santa Maria is known for some great wines. One of the most popular is Cambria, and you can get that in almost any store. Today we're starting out in Riverbench. Let's see if these live up to the hype. Cheers, everyone. So we just finished our tasting, and I have to say that these grapes right here live up to the hype. This area, this winery specifically, is known for its Pinot Noirs and Chardonnays. But just down the road, you have your Syrahs and your Cabernet Francs. So there's a lot of little microclimates right here in Santa Maria Valley. This, this is the uh, local guard dog. <laughs> he just came out of the elevator all by himself. We can't figure out how. <laughs> Did you just sneak on? I wish I had a video of him coming off. That was hysterical. Mmm. Like, so we mm. now came to one of the most beautiful wineries I think we've ever been to, Presqu'ia Winery. Now this is something that we didn't know existed in this area. I can't believe I've lived in California for nearly a decade and I didn't know Presqu'ia Winery existed. This place is insane. There's sweeping views over the Santa Maria Valley. It's absolutely an architectural gem. They have an amphitheater where they have concerts during the summer here. They've got horseshoes, they've got a bocce court. I mean, you could basically come here and hang out all day, tasting their wine, having a good time. Oh, <laughs> Ryman. So our time here at Santa Maria is coming to an end, but we had one amazing time over the past few days. It's been an amazing staycation from LA. I mean, we're only three hours from home and we got to go adventuring and driving on the sand dunes. We visited some beautiful beaches. We went bicycling through the vineyards. And we went to taste some delicious wine. So, uh, hey. <laughs> thank you so much, Santa Maria. Cheers to you. Cheers to us. As always, I'm Scott. And I'm Colette. And we are Romero. And if you like what you saw, please like and subscribe below. Thanks so much. Bye. Bye. Let's go surfing now, everybody's learning now, come on a safari with me.